Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson I will teach you indefinite integrations involving log functions. Of course, there is the PDF file versions on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First one. So we need to evaluate from 2 to 3, 4x over x squared minus 3. So if you think about it, so if we differentiate the denominator, the bottom here, that will give us 2x. But then the numerator, we have 4x. So we just double that, that's all, right? So what I do, I can take out the, the 2 out. Because 4x is exactly the same as 2 times 2x. So I just take the 2 out. So let me just rewrite this out. So this will give me 2 integrate 2x x squared minus 3 dx and from 2 to 3. So this is exactly the same. So now we can see if I differentiate the uh, bottom here, the denominator, and give me the numerator. In another word, if we integrate f dash x over f of x respect to x, that will give me ln f of x or ln f of x and then we add a constant of course but in this case we are working on definite integration so we do not need to add c okay so that is equal to 2 ln of x squared minus 3 so we absolute value just in case the uh, value is negative so we just put there from 2 to 3 so now I just substitute 2 into x and 3 into x, okay? So let me just move this up a bit. So that will give me 2 ln, now 3 square, because 3 is replaced with x. So 3 square give me 9, so 9 minus 3. So we just go 9 minus 3. Absolute value, and then we minus ln, now 2 replace with x so 2 square is 4 and 4 minus 3 is 1 or oh, i just write 4 minus 3 first just in case so that's it so now i just evaluate this further that become 2 ln 9 minus 3 is 6 and then absolute value 6 do give me 6 anyway so that is 6 and it brackets this and then we minus so we know that 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So that is ln of absolute value of 1. So minus ln of absolute value of 1 still give me 1. So I just write 1 down we do. So there you go. Now this one here, ln, that means log by e of 1 will give me 0. Okay. And that becomes ln of 6 minus 0. So that will give me 2 ln of 6 minus 0. So that will give me ln of 6. So that is 2 ln of 6. So there you go. Or if you think about it, 2 ln of 6 is exactly the same as ln of 6 power of 2. Because by using log law. So 6 power of 2 is 36. So instead of write 2 ln of 6, you can also write ln of 36. So let me just write this down. So that is ln of 36. So you can either write 2 ln of 6 or ln of 36. So they are the same. So keep that in mind. Second question. So if you are differentiate the denominator, that is this one here, differentiate this, will give me 3. But the numerator, we have 5 here. So therefore, we somehow we have to make the numerator equal 3. So that will become f that's x over f of x so that we can uh, integrate that become ln of f of x so what i do i just take the 5 out first okay makes it easier so let me just clear this so if i take the 5 out so that become 5 3 4 because i take the 5 out so that give me 1 over 3x minus 4 and we need to make the numerator equal 3 so that becomes differentiate 3x minus 4 give me 3. Okay, so if I time by 3, I need to divide by 3. So if I time by 3 here, 
and I divided by 3 here. So now let me just clear this. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. So let me just write 3 there and this over 3. And then this is dx, of course. So there you go. So now if I differentiate the bottom, which is here, 3x minus 4, it gives me 3. So this means that if we integrate f dash x over f of x dx, so that will give me ln of the functions, so f of x. And don't forget, we add a c, but not in this case, because we're dealing with definite integrations. So now this will give me 5 over 3 ln of the functions, that is 3x minus 4. So 3x minus 4. And absolute value, just in case, and then um, 3 to 4. So there you go. So now I just need to evaluate this. So when x is equal 4, let me just write this down. So that would give me 5 over 3 ln. Now 3 times 4, because x is replaced with 4, so give me 12. And 12 minus 4 is 8. So I can just quickly write it down. Okay, so that is ln of 8. And then we minus ln of, now when x is equal to 3, so that means 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 minus 4 is 5. So that means ln of 5. So that is ln of 5. And you know that absolute value of 5 is equal to 5 anyway. So just write ln of 5. Okay, keep that in mind. Same with 8. ln of absolute value of 8. 8, absolute value of 8 is still give me 8. Okay, so keep that in mind. So now I just evaluate this further or simplify if you like. So 5 over 3. So ln of a minus ln of b is exactly the same as ln of a over b. So that is exactly the same as ln of 8 over 5 in this case here, if you like. So there you go, okay? Third one. So first of all, we know that if we integrate x will give us x squared over 2. And the second function here, so if you differentiate the bottom here, give me 4x, right? So 4x becomes f dash x. So this is f dash x. So if we integrate f dash x over f of x, so the x, that will give me ln of f of x. And we add a c. So this means that 2x squared plus 1 is f of x, and 4x is f dash x. So that will give me log, okay? So that will give me x squared over 2. But instead of write over 2, I can also write a half of x. And then we add ln, because we integrate this, is this f of x, and f of x is 2x squared plus 1. And absolute value, but then if you do not write absolute value, still correct, because x squared is always positive. Keep that in mind. But we just write it, so that becomes this. So from 0 to 2. So now I just evaluate this. So x becomes 2. So 2 squared is 4. And half of 4 is 2. Otherwise, I just write this out first. So 2 squared is 4 plus ln of 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So 8 plus 1. Absolute value. And this is minus when x becomes 0. So this is 0, so the whole thing becomes 0. If this is 0 here, 2 times 0 still give me 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So that is minus. So that becomes 0 plus ln of 1. Because this is 0 and this is ln of 1. So now what I do, I just evaluate this further. And this becomes 0 because log of 1 is 0. Keep that in mind, any base, okay? And this will give me a half of 4 is 2 plus 8 plus 1 is 9. So ln of 9. So plus ln of 9. So there you go. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi there. I'm back. How did you go? So let me just go through it with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so so you can help me to grow my channel 
So let's get into this. First one. So if you think about it, so if we differentiate this function here, f dash x will give me 5, correct? So that is become f dash x over f of x. So if we integrate that, that will give us ln of f of x. So f of x is 5x minus 6, okay? So that will give me ln of 5x minus 6. And we absolute value just in case. So now that's it. So from 1, 2, 3. So that's the answer. But then we need to evaluate this. To evaluate this, so we replace x with 3. And then we minus, replace x with 1. So let me just sort this out first. So that will give me ln, absolute value, 3 times 5 is 15. Correct? And 15 minus 6 is 9. Let me just write 15 minus 6 first. Okay, we'll do one step at a time. And then we minus ln, this time here, 1 is replaced with x. So that becomes 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 minus 6. So ln of absolute value, 5 minus 6. So there you go. Then we just evaluate further. So 15 minus 6 is 9. So that means ln of 9 minus ln of negative 1. Correct? And negative 1 absolute value give me positive. So therefore ln of negative 1 absolute value will give me ln 1. So let me just write ln 1 we do. And then that becomes 0 because ln of 1 is 0. So therefore the answer is ln of 9. There you go. Second one. So if we differentiate the bottom here, it will give us, so let me just write this down. Okay, f that's x will give me, so 2x, and then we add 2. So that is f that's x. But then we got 4x plus 4. So we can take out the common factor. Instead of 4, we take out the 2. So this is exactly the same as this. Let me just rewrite this out. So that equal integrations from negative 1 to 1. The 4, if I take the 2 out, so that give me like this. 2x plus 2 over. So this is x squared plus 2x plus 3 dx. So there you go. So now I just take the 2 outside, okay, of the integral. So if I take the 2 out, like this. So this 2, I just take it outside. So now it becomes from negative 1 to 1. So you left with 2x plus 2 over x squared plus 2x plus 3 dx. So there you go. So now we know that this is f of x and then this is f dash x. So therefore, to integrate that become ln, okay? So that will give me 2 ln of x squared plus 2x plus 3. An absolute value of this. And then from negative 1 to 1. So now I just need to evaluate this. So when x equals 1, so this is 1 here. So 1 squared and 2 lots of 1. So let me just write this down. That is equal to 2 ln of 1 square is 1 and plus 2 times 1 is 2 and plus 3. So I'll, there you go. I don't need to absolute value. I know that is positive. And then we minus, okay, ln of, so negative 1 square is 1 and negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So it's just minus 2 and then we add 3. Okay, just write this down. That's all. And then brackets, I don't need to absolute value because I know it's positive. Just just letting you know. So now that is will give me 2. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. So that will give me ln of 6 and we minus. So we have 1 plus 3 is 4 and 4 minus 2 is 2. So ln of 2. And then now we use log law. So don't forget ln of a minus ln of b. So that will give me ln of a over b. Okay, keep that in mind. So therefore, ln of 6 minus ln of 2 give me ln of 6 over 2. 
So 6 over 2 is 3. So therefore, ln of 3. So therefore, this is exactly the same as 2 ln of 3. So there you go. 6 divided by 2 is 3. But then if you think about it, you can also write this way. Okay, you log low again. So 2 ln of 3 is exactly the same as ln of 3 squared. But then we know that 3 squared is 9, right? So therefore, we can write ln of 9. So there you go. So 2 ln 3 is exactly the same as ln 9. Okay, keep that in mind. And whichever way you write, doesn't really matter. Okay. Last one. So first of all, to integrate 2x, so it will give us 2x squared over 2. Correct? And then to integrate this, second function here, but it will differentiate x minus 4 will give us 1. And we have 3 here. So what I do, I just take the 3 out, so it become 1 over x minus 4. Okay, keep that in mind. So let me write this down. So this is exactly the same as this. Let me just rewrite this so you can see it. So like this, 2x minus, I put the 3 outside. This is just like this, exactly the same. x minus 4 brackets dx so this is exactly the same but then don't forget yeah if we differentiate this it will give me one so therefore one is the numerator so therefore that is exactly the same as f that's x over f of x so therefore integrate this function here will give me ln of f of x so f of x is x minus 4 so the answer is 3 ln x minus 4 so that is equal to 2x squared over 2 minus 3 ln of x minus 4. Absolute value, just in case it's negative, because we cannot take a negative number for log, okay? So now that becomes 0 to 3. So this will give me equal to, let me just cancel this, let me rewrite this, okay? So that becomes x squared minus 3 ln of x minus 4 absolute value so from 0 to 3 so let me just rewrite this bit easier to see so now i just replace 3 with x so that would give me 3 square give me 9 and minus 3 ln of the absolute value 3 minus 4 is negative 1 so let me just write this down negative 1 and this is 1 bracket and minus now x is 0. So that becomes 0. That becomes 0. So therefore, 0 squared is 0. So 0. And minus 3 ln of absolute value 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So there you go. So now let me evaluate this further. Now don't forget, absolute value of 1, negative. So give me positive 1. And ln of 1, give me 0. So that is 0. And then let me rewrite this out. That become 9 and then minus. So a negative with a negative becomes positive. So which is add. And then 3 ln of absolute value of negative 4. Give me positive 4. So 3 ln of 4. So there you go. Or you can write 9 plus because it's 3 ln 4 becomes ln 4 power 3, which is 64. Or you can just write like 9 plus ln of 64. Okay, so it doesn't matter how you write it. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.